Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today we're gonna to talk to you guys about the myofascial slings or networks. Myofascial network, let's break that word down. Myo means muscle, fascial is the connective tissue and networks are a chain or a series of muscles put together in a series. And we move in our, our body or through our body with these myofascial networks or these chains of force. And basically the, the collagens or the connective tissues tether our muscle to our bone structure and so when we generate force in our muscle it pulls on the connective tissue and it moves the joint structure. And so that'll happen locally at a one joint, it's called an auxiliary movement. We've got regional movements where you have like joints that attach your appendages towards your canister or to your canister. And then you've got the whole center of your center of mass, which is your thoracolumbar pelvic canister, which is your trunk and your, your lumbar and your pelvis. And all these muscle groups that tether these segments together, they contract in a time sequence that's referred to as temporal or spatial biomechanics. So when does the muscle fire and at what time stamp in the sequence of a chain of muscle reaction that tethers these fascial structures to your bones. Now when they move in an efficient pattern, once again, everything moves well and the joints are molded and positioned and postured in the right way. Everything works, we can, uh, we can increase our performance, we can, we can run, we can sprint, we can do all the things that we wanna do in our life without injury. But when the network of tension is off or if you recruit the muscles improperly so that the connective tissue continuum that makes up that fascia, or again, that structure that holds like a scaffolding or a skeletal system together, it starts to mold it in the wrong way. Then our joints start to wear in a, in a bad pattern because they're positioned incorrectly. And this fascia or this connective tissue holds the joint structure in an improper position. Now, sometimes we'll get in and we'll try to manipulate those joints back. There are people who do that, chiropractors, they move the joints around, right? Soft tissue people, massage therapists, they try to mold the fascia and the muscle athletic trainers, coaches, kinesiologists, they're working with the, the muscle mass to try to reorganize the neural patterns to move these joint structures back to neutral or to build out the fascial continuums or these networks so that the posture is neutral. There's a time and a place for all of it, but ultimately we want to improve the coordination of the muscle recruitment strategy so that the building of these fascial or these connective tissue um, strappings or networks, they start to hold the joint structures where they belong. So this is really important. It's gonna to help to preserve the, the health. Um, it's gonna maintain the efficiency of your movement quality. And then ultimately you're gonna be able to do all the things you love uh, longer. So we want you to start to draw your attention to the idea of myofascial networks, or again, movement that happens through the entire body and how we can mold our body with the connective tissues to support the health of not only our joint structure and our movement quality, but then our circulation and our metabolic systems that are gonna be impacted by that. So lots of positive benefits and reduction in comorbidities. Questions on any of these things, please guys reach out, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Love to share more information with you. Remember your body's designed to move, stay in motion. We'll see you soon.